Wendy, thank you. And tonight we have team coverage of this tragic case and the search for Brian Laundrie continues. Family and friends are mourning the likely loss of Gabby Petito and the community is rallying behind them to support and lift them up. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell joins us live. And Mary, you've been in a memorial for Gabby all day and it's just incredible to see the impact this story is having on people. That's right, and while many people who've come to this memorial today say they've never met Gabby Petito, you can tell she was loved. Now take a look at it just behind me. All day, people have walked up to this memorial in front of City Hall in Northport to place flowers, mementos, and pictures of the 22-year-old. While a full forensic ID hasn't been completed, the FBI announced yesterday a search revealed human remains consistent with Petito's description after several agencies had been investigating an area in the Bridger Teton National Forest. This memorial, a way to show support to the Petito family. Everyone we spoke to today didn't know Petito, the Petito family or the Laundry family, but the Ferentinos told me they do live down the street from the Laundries. The brother and sister said this is the type of community Northport is, one that shows up and supports each other. When I went to uh, church back in the day, it's uh, they always told me we're all brothers and sisters from a different mother, different father. So. It's just another sister. Um, unfortunately, she went early, and I'm praying for her families uh, big time. It's never easy to lose somebody you love. And we've lost plenty of people in our lives, so we know how hard it is to lose somebody you love. And I'm so sorry to her family, and I pray for them that they find some type of peace and comfort. After the FBI made the announcement yesterday, Gabby's father posted this photo on Twitter with a caption saying, quote, she touched the world. And I spoke to the Teton County coroner's office in Wyoming this afternoon. He told me that the remains for the person that were found in Bridger Teton National Forest, that aut autopsy will be scheduled for tomorrow. In Northport, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.